Our beading lesson today is about organizing your supplies for maximum efficiency so when creativity strikes, you can get right to work. You always are looking for that creative inspiration. So one way to get organized is to sort your things into trays. And this one is a tray that I put together using all of my different findings. So when I'm ready to get to work, all I have to do is pull out this tray of findings and I'm ready to go. Now it's helpful to have the clear lid over the top because then you can see everything that's in the box. You can really keep track of what you have on hand. And the same goes for using a color palette like this. So this is a crystal tray and I use these tiny little boxes to sort all of my little crystals into here because all of these crystals used to be in a stack of probably each of these colors was in one of those plastic divided boxes and so by breaking it down I've really taking up a lot less room in my craft room. And you can, of course, also use this to inspire you when you're ready to choose colors. So one thing you can do is get out your color wheel and turn it to you know, something that's really appealing. And I like these, the idea of using some purple and some green and some yellow. And even though I don't have yellow right here in my color palette, I can use this sort of tannish color to stand in. And these boxes that I have my beads sorted into have clear bottoms. So I can pull them out and start arranging them on my tray. And I can kind of play with the different colors that I want to use in my design. Now, it's not just about color though, it's also about shape, right? So you can see that I have some different shapes of beads in here and I can switch out different ones. Maybe I want to have some smaller accents along with my larger, larger focal beads. And this gives me kind of the opportunity to just play around with the color before I'm stringing my project together. Now, you can also sort your beads into style. So you see I have my crystals here, I have my findings, and I also have a tray full of seed beads. And these guys are in so many different shapes and sizes that it's great to have them all into boxes that take up the least amount of space as possible. So I'm really maximizing the space that I have in my craft supplies. And another tip about these boxes is that they have a removable label on the lid. So you can keep track of what, how many are in here. For example, this box has 30 grams of seed beads in it. This is a size 11, and I can keep track of the color. I could even keep track of the manufacturer if I wanted to, or where I bought the beads. And before you stick all of your labels onto your boxes, you can make a copy of your sheet that has all of your information on it. And that's a nice way to keep your inventory too. So if you're creating jewelry that you want to resell or you just want to keep track of your craft stash you can keep track of your inventory by copying the label and that goes for any type of craft boxes that you're using to store your supplies so I also want to give you some tips for using excellent lighting because when you're using good lighting it's going to prevent eye strain and if you're doing some really intricate work and you need to see up close you might also think about using a magnifier so let's get some small beads going here I'm just going to turn on my light here so you can see what's going on. And when you're working with color matching or trying to get your colors together too, it's nice to use natural light. This is a lamp that brings that inside. So you can see really well the colors that you're working with. All right, so we're going to start stitching some beads on here. We'll see some color starting to pop and I'm going to wrap this around. Now this also has an inset magnifier, so if I needed to see even more detail, I could hold it under that inset magnifier and really check out what's going on with my beads. And that's particularly helpful if you're using some very tiny seed beads. So I'm just going to add a few more beads here. And keep in mind when you're working that it's always good to have a space that's set up to get ready to work. So all of these trays, the speed mat, the light, the color wheel, the wire, all of your supplies, if you can keep them all ready to go, then you are ready to start making. Let's add a few more beads here. And see it starting to come together, my little beaded ring. One more idea about some space saving techniques is also to keep your tools in a little pouch. So I have a little pouch here that I have stashed my pliers in. 
So you can see that it's just going to fold up. And this is a space saving idea too that can help you create more efficiency in your craft studio. You can tie this guy up and throw it in your purse or your tote bag and be off to your next creative adventure. So we've talked about how to get organized with your stuff, but what about when you're ready to start your next project? So you want to look around your house and see what kinds of containers would help you get organized when you're ready to create. So here are a few things that I've collected. And these are just some fun little dishes that you could get from you know any kind of kitchen store. And it makes your beads look pretty. And it also can help with your inspiration when your supplies are looking good. You know, So you can fill these little dishes with each color or each style that you're going to use. These are some little ramekins from the kitchen store. And I like these because you know they all have a little bit more sharp corners. You could even use it slightly as a scoop. But if you really do need a scoop, you can use these sweet little spoons. So there are really all kinds of things that you can find from around your house to help you with your next project, including this is a cork trivet. So you could use this as a work space. It would help prevent your beads from rolling around. And it would also you know, create a beautiful backdrop. If you're taking some pictures that you're posting online, you think about using some of these supplies that you're using to organize also as backgrounds for your photographs. Now, one tip that you might not know about bead, bead mats is they have this kind of nap surface that helps prevent beads from rolling around, but it also allows beads to land hole facing up. So it has to do with the physics of that blankety surface. And you can use a little scoop, of course, to just scoop them up and see how they all landed facing right side up. So you're ready to get ready to string. And these are made specially for beading, the triangle trays. But they're really handy for scooping up. Again, you can also use that to organize the supplies on your work surface. There's also bead boards. This is just a felt covered board, or you could use a piece of felt. Or you can use bead boards to organize your piece before you're ready to string it. So you might also think about using the supplies from around your craft closet. And I hope you found some inspiration today and use it to create something that you'll wear proudly tomorrow. Next time on Beads, Bobbles, and Jewels.